Oh Lord, preserve my life. Preserve my soul. Preserve my children. Preserve my family. Preserve my going out and coming in. Oh Lord, preserve my marriage. Oh Lord, preserve my health from premature death, from untimely death, from accidental death, from spiritual death. Preserve me, Lord, from accident. Preserve me, Lord, from every trap, every snare, every satanic agenda and satanic devices and satanic evil plot and projection that they, my enemies have designed against me to frustrate your divine counsel concerning my life. Oh God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I call upon you, oh God, deliver me, oh God, preserve my life from every pit that they have dug for me to fall in. Preserve me, O Lord, from the arrows that flies by day and the terror by night. Preserve me, O Lord, from the sun striking me by day, O Lord, and the moon by night. Preserve me from destruction that lay waste in noonday. Preserve me, Lord, perilous pestilence. Preserve me from witchcraft powers, charms, access. Preserve me from their black magic. Preserve me from their incantation and invocation. Preserve me from their doors and idols that they are using to project evil against me. Any satanic altars, satanic shrines, satanic temples that they are using to do enchantment against me. Lord, preserve my soul, preserve my life, preserve my wife, preserve my husband, preserve my children, preserve my marriage, preserve my finances, preserve my body, soul, and spirit. May the Lord preserve you. Oh, somebody, may Jesus preserve you. You shall not die, but you shall live. You shall not be wasted in the hands of your enemies. No weapon formed or fashioned against you. It shall not prosper. Your enemies will come against you in one way, but they'll flee against you in seven ways. May the Lord disappoint and frustrate and thwart the assignment and the agenda of the enemy against your life. I pray that let God arise and let your enemies, your adversaries, your haters, those who are in to destroy you. Let them be scattered. Let them be broken into pieces. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I have seen the Lord face to face and my life is preserved. I will not be a casualty. You will not be a casualty. You will not be a prey in the teeth, in the mouth of your enemies. You will not die, but you shall live. You will not be wasted. You will not be sacrificed. You will not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, receive divine protection and preservation. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord preserve you. May the Lord preserve you. Yesterday, we also talked about how the devil can use demonic entities like the Leviathan spirit, demonic entities like the Python, like the Andaconda spirit, uh, like the Alligator spirit, like the Crocodile spirit, and like witchcraft and satanic altars to swallow up souls. And that's what the Bible says in Psalms 124, verse 6, going down. See, my soul, our soul has escaped as a bird out of the snares of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. And the Bible also made us to understand that God must free our souls from satanic imprisonment. So we will be able to praise him. Because as long as your soul is captured, it says, bring my soul out of prison that I may praise your name. Bring my soul out of prison. The devil can swallow you up to consume your soul. They are, they, they are, they are demonic vampires, witchcraft vampires, satanic vampires who are bloodthirsty, who are in to eat people's flesh and to drink people's blood. They are certain family idols, certain family spirits, occultic practices that can summon and conjure demonic entities to, to come in and kill individuals drink their blood and eat their flesh but we are praying that the lord will cause these demons to vomit us out we are not we are not we are not their prey i refuse to be a prey i refuse to be sacrificed at the altar of the satan in the name of jesus i will not die through the hands of my enemies in the name of jesus you are going to pray this prayer again that lord god almighty 
any unclean spirit, any Leviathan spirit, every python like spirit, every alligator like spirit, every crocodile like spirit, every witchcraft spirit, any satanic altars, unclean spirit, demonic spirit, familiar spirit, dwarf spirit, any evil spirit that has swallowed me up, let them vomit me out in the name of Jesus. I set their st stomach on fire, I set their belly on fire, and let them vomit me out. When we read Job chapter 20, verse 15, the Bible says that he has Job, Job. I'm sorry, Jonah chapter 2, verse 10. Jonah chapter 2, verse 10. Jonah chapter 2, verse 10. Verse 1 talks about how Jonah prayed. And verse 10, 2 verse 1 talks about how Jonah prayed in the belly of the big fish. And the big fish began to listen to God heard his prayer and God commanded the big fish to vomit him out. So verse 2, verse 10, Jonah 2 verse 10 says, And the Lord commanded the fish and it vomited Jonah onto dry land. O Lord, command every demon, command every spirit, command every altar, command every witchcraft spirit to vomit me out by fire, to vomit me out by fire. The Bible says the Lord commanded the fish. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command every big fish, I command every anaconda spirit, I command every python-like spirit, I command every alligator-like spirit, I command every leviathan-like spirit, I command every altar in my mother's house, every altar in my father's house, any familiar spirit, every demonic spirit, every spirit of death and destruction that has swallowed up my soul, every spirit that has been sent to come and consume me in the name of Jesus. I command you to vomit me out. I command you to spit me out. I command you to cough me out. I command you to release me out, out of your belly, out of your stomach, out of your belly, by fire, by thunder. I set your stomach on fire. I set your belly on fire. You have no option. You have no choice uh, to vomit me out. Uh, as I prayed this prayer, I prayed for my son. As I prayed this prayer, I prayed for my daughter. As I prayed this prayer, I prayed for my husband. As I prayed this prayer, I prayed for my wife. Uh, let every satanic spirit, uh, let every demonic spirit, uh, let every occultic spirit, uh, let every witchcraft spirit, uh, let every demonic spirit uh, that has swallowed my son. Uh, that has swallowed my daughters, uh, that has swallowed my husband, uh, that has swallowed my wife. Uh, vomit me out by fire. Vomit us out by fire in the name of Jesus. Vomit me out by fire, by fire, by fire. Pray that prayer again. That in the name of Jesus, I command uh, every demonic spirit, uh, witchcraft spirit, uh, unclean spirit. Uh, vomit me out. You spirit of death, you spirit of destruction, sent to come and claim my life, sent to come and kill me, sent to come and eat up my flesh, sent to come and drink my blood. Vomit me out by fire. Vomit me out by fire. Spit me out by fire. Vomit me out by fire. Cough me out by fire. Release me by fire. Release my son. My son will not die. Release me. I shall not die. Release my wife. She shall not die. Release my daughter. She shall not die. Release my family members. They will not die. Vomit me out. Spirit of death. Spirit of destruction. Spirit of waste. Spirit of destruction. Vomit me out. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Kapala Badaba, Rapan de Libusata, Rapa Palaba, Ripan Palibibis, Rapa Padabada, Ripan Toriata, Ripa Shatarababa, Ripa Parababa, Ripa Parababa, Ripa Parababa, Ripa Padibica, Ripa Padabibi, every demonic spirit, every witchcraft spirit, every satanic spirit, every Levitan spirit, every alligator like spirit. Every crocodile spirit up, every python like spirit up, every serpentine spirit up, every witchcraft spirit up, every family idol, every family spirit up, every family shrine up that has swallowed me up, swallowed my children, swallowed my wife up, that is in to destroy me. You spirit of death up, spirit of destruction, spirit of infirmity up, spirit of death up. Vomit me out uh, by fire by thunder. Vomit me out uh, by fire by thunder. Vomit my wife out uh, by fire by thunder. Vomit my son out uh, by fire by thunder. Vomit my daughter out uh, by fire by thunder. Vomit my children out uh, by fire by thunder. Vomit my me out of uh, Vrakata, Repans Kataya. Every spirit of death uh, that wants to consume me. Repa Shata. Every satanic beast. Uh, every satanic animal. Uh, every satanic viper. Every satanic lion. Uh, every satanic 
satanic hyena, every satanic vulture, every satanic spirit, every unclean spirit, every unclean animal that has been sent by the devil, sent by my witches, sent by the marine kingdom, every marine altar that has swallowed up my soul, vomit me out by fire, vomit me out by fire, vomit me out by fire, vomit out my soul, vomit out my soul, in the name of Jesus. As we're praying, the Spirit of God is telling me that some people's soul has been captured by the marine spirit. Some people's soul has been captured by the marine spirit. A spirit husband, a spirit husband, a spirit wife, a, 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 an incubus spirit, an sacabu spirit, a spirit in your mother's house that has married you, a spirit in your father's house that has married you, has swallowed you up. When you talk about spiritual marriage, it's not just about incubus and succubus and spirit husbands in the water. No, no, no. Any spirit in your foundation can marry you. Any altar in your family can marry you. Any strange spirit can marry you. A spiritual spouse can even be a witch. A witch can marry you and that witch agent becomes your spiritual spouse. Some people, their own mothers have married them. Some people, their own fathers have married them. Some people, some satanic idol in the form of a dog or a cat or an alligator or a pattern has married them. So when we talk about spiritual spouses, it is any satanic spirit, demonic spirit, witchcraft spirit, hellish spirit that marries a person and begins to control the person and blocks them from having their destiny. And as we're praying, the Holy Ghost says that there are people whose souls are captured and are swallowed up by the marine spirit or a spiritual husband. It can be a spirit from your mother's bloodline or your father's bloodline that has married you and has captured your soul into satanic imprisonment. But today, just as the Lord and the Bible says in Jonah chapter 2 verse 10, and the Lord commanded the fish and it vomited Jonah out by your prayer. Every spiritual marriage, every spirit husband, every spirit wife, vomit me out by fire, vomit me out by thunder. Every spirit husband, every spirit wife, vomit me out by fire, vomit me out by thunder. Any spirit husband or spirit wife that comes to sleep with me, that comes to molest me, that comes to rape me, that comes to sleep by me, that comes to come give me nightmares and bad dreams in my sleep. Today, vomit me out, vomit me out, vomit out my soul out of your prison in the name of Jesus. I set your belly on fire, I set your soul, on, uh, your, your stomach on fire, vomit me out. I command you to vomit me out by fire. You spirit husband, you spirit wife, I command you to vomit me out. Begin to pray that prayer and you shall be free right now in the name of Jesus from every spiritual spouse. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command every spirit husband, I command every spirit wife, any altar in your mother's house, father's house, any agent of darkness that has been married to you, let them vomit you out. Any incubus sacabu spirit, let them vomit you out. Let them vomit out your soul by fire, by fire, by thunder. I set your stomach on fire. I set your belly on fire. I set your stomach on fire. I set your belly on fire. I command them right now. Vomit me out by fire. Vomit you out by fire. Vomit your sons and daughters out by fire. Rapa scatter. Rapa para. Rapa para ba. Rapa para ba. Rapa para biya. Rapa para ba da. Rapa shata raba ba shata. In the name of Jesus, any unclean spirit have a covenant with you. Have a contract with you through generational curse. Through generational initiation. In the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, I command you. Vomit me out. Vomit out my soul. Vomit out the soul of my son. Vomit out the soul of my daughter. Vomit out the soul of my, my, my grandchildren. Vomit the soul of my husband. Vomit the soul of my wife. Begin to pray for your children. Begin to pray for your spouse. Every spiritual marriage that is contained with your destiny. Today, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit husband. I command that spirit wife. I command you, vomit me out by fire. 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 I set your stomach on fire. I set your belly on fire. I set your stomach on fire. I set your belly on fire. Every midnight spirit that comes to sleep with me at night when I dream, you come to have sex with me. You come to molest me. You have captured my soul today in the name of Jesus. I pray against you. I pray a prayer of fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Release fire. Against any spirit husband. Against any spirit wife. Against any spirit Spirit husband against any spirit wife in the name of Jesus. Rakatata, 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 Rakatata. I command the spirit husband to vomit you out by fire, 
Vomit you out by fire. 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 Vomit out. Vomit out. Vomit me out. You spread husband. Vomit me out. You spread husband. Vomit me out. You spread wife. Vomit me out. You spread husband. Vomit me out. Any spirit that is married to me. Any spirit of the covenant with you. Every spirit that doesn't want me to marry. That is causing. That is causing barrenness. That is causing infertility. That is causing me to be single. That is causing me not to be able to break through in marriage and relationship. In the name of Jesus, today I command you, in the name of Jesus, vomit me out by fire. Vomit me out by thunder. Vomit me out by fire. Vomit me by thunder. Vomit me out by fire. Vomit me by thunder. You, the you spirit husband, you spirit wife, destroy my marriage. Cause me to have fibroid. Causing me to have a menstrual cycle problem. Bleeding, uh, excessive bleeding, uh, destroying my relationship, uh, destroying my marriage uh, with confusion, misunderstanding, causing me to go through divorce uh, and separation, uh, sabotaging my weddings and my engagement, uh, causing confusion in my life. Uh, you desperate husband, I come up against you in the name of Jesus. Vomit me out, uh, vomit me out, uh, vomit me out uh, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder. By fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder, by fire, by thunder. Vomit me out. Every unclean spirit, every serpentine demon, in the name of Jesus. As we are praying, the Holy Spirit is saying, some people, they have sent an evil animal to swallow you up, to swallow up your soul. Just as I said, the python can be an animal used to swallow people. The python. The anaconda can be an animal they use spiritually to swallow people. There's what's called boa constrictor. Can be sent to swallow up. They can use vultures to swallow up. They can use spiritual highness to swallow up. Spiritual tigers, even evil dogs and cats can be used. They release some satanic animals in the realms of the spirit. And these animals come to devour you and eat up your flesh and eat, drink your blood. And they kill you spiritually and kill your soul. You are going to pray. Any evil animal. Sometimes they can release animals like centipede and millipedes into your life. And they come in to poison you. And then they will come for you. They can send in uh, scorpions to come in spiritually to come in. They can send in a, a serpent like a cobra to come in and, and, and bite you and poison you, paralyze you spiritually and come for your life. They can send any animal, any animal, whether it's an owl, whether it's a vulture, whatever animal, the, the rat, that the devil, whatever animal or insect, 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 that the devil is releasing spiritually to come after your soul, to devour you, to swallow you up. They are going to pray that any satanic animal, any satanic insect that is being used to come for my soul, to kill me, to destroy me, in the name of Jesus, I command you to die by fire, die by thunder, and vomit me out. Vomit me out and die by thunder. Vomit me out and die by thunder. Any satanic animal, any satanic leviathan, every satanic python, every satanic anaconda, every satanic alligator, any satanic crocodile, any satanic serpentine demon, any satanic hyena or tiger that my enemies have released spiritually to come for my soul to destroy me in the name of Jesus. Vomit me out by thunder. Vomit me out by fire and die. You are commanding the animal to vomit you out and as they do so, they should die in the process. They should die in the process. Let them vomit you out and let them die. Let them vomit me out and die in the name of Jesus. Any spiritual animal, any person who has turned themselves into an animal to come for my soul, to come for my life, let them vomit me out and let them die. Let them vomit me out and let them die by fire, by thunder. Vomit me out and die. Vomit me out and perish. Vomit me out and die. Vomit me out and perish. In the name of Jesus, we lift our prayers. We lift our prayers. prayers. And as we advance in prayer, let fire come out of our mouth to burn our enemies. Run about in the name of Jesus. Every satanic beast, every satanic insect, any satanic animal, every anaconda life spirit, every python life spirit, hey, every alligator, every crocodile, any leviathan spirit, any scorpions and serpent, every lion, every highness and leopard, every spiritual entity, lizards, every lizard, every chameleon life spirit, any 
mini peace and sanity, Peter. Any owl, every bat, every satanic bird that they are using to come for your soul to destroy you, le parapa. Let them vomit me out. Let them vomit you out and die in the process. Vomit me out and die. 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 I set your stomach on fire. I set your belly on fire. Every satanic animal, every demonic animal, any witchcraft animal, send for my life. Send for my son. Send for my daughter. Send for my wife. Send for my life. I command you. I set your stomach on fire. I set your belly on fire. I command you to vomit me out by fire by thunder. Vomit me out by fire by fire. By fire by thunder. By fire by force. By fire by thunder, by fire by lightning, by fire by thunder, vomit me out, vomit me out. I command the python to vomit me out. I command the leviathan to vomit me out. I command the snake like spirit, vomit me out. I command the alligator like spirit to vomit me out. I command the immediately send me the scorpion, the vulture, repas kata, rapaso karakata, every bug, every insect, what a capranda that the devil is using for my life. Die by fire, die by thunder, die by fire, die by thunder, die by fire die by thunder die by fire die by thunder die by fire die by fire die by thunder in the name of Jesus I command you I command you vomit me out vomit me out vomit me out vomit me out spit me out spit me out spit me out vomit me out cough me out come out of my life repa shut up die 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 Die. Every spiritual animal, fall down and die. Every spiritual frog, fall down and die. Every spiritual bird, fall down and die. Every spiritual lizard, fall down and die. Every spiritual alligator, every spiritual snake, fall down and die. 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 Somebody, who are, you are going to see an evil animal or bird or insect drop dead in your backyard in front of your house or somewhere in your house the fire of god is locating any satanic animal any satanic beast any evil bird on an evil same assignment any evil mice or rat any evil insect roaches centipedes millipedes bed bugs any satanic vultures any satanic frogs any satanic serpentine demon any evil beast that is lacking and hiding inconspicuously inconspicuously they are hiding secretly somewhere in your house and they are releasing their venom and they have a time sensitive time to capture your soul let them drop dead you are going to pray this prayer again many times people die mysteriously because these witches and wizards and occultics and satanic agents release these animals spiritually and they are there in your house but you don't know that you are living in your bedroom with a snake you are living in your bedroom with a scorpion you are living in your bedroom with a vulture you are living in your bedroom with a, a certain python who is in to swallow you because your eyes cannot see but they are there waiting for the appointed time you are going to pray this prayer again every spiritual animal any spiritual beast any spiritual insect on an evil assignment for my soul i command you catch fire and die catch fire and die catch fire and die catch fire and die sometimes the very witch themselves the very wizard themselves the very agent the strong man themselves have turned themselves into a human personality to uh, into an animal it's called transmogrification transmogrification half man half have animal they've stand themselves to come for your life whoever has turned themselves into an animal to see me die in the name of jesus as i pray this prayer of fire let fire proceed out of my mouth and consume every satanic beast any satanic animal every satanic insect drop dead by fire drop dead by fire pray this prayer and receive your total deliverance in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus, in the name of jesus. every evil animal Every evil insect, every evil agent of darkness turn themselves into an animal. Coming for my soul, coming for my life, coming for my son, coming for my daughter, coming for my marriage, coming for my husband, coming for my family member. In the name of Jesus, I command you to die. 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 Let every satanic bird fall down and die. Fall down and die. I command every satanic frog fall down and die. Fall down and die. Fall down. Drop dead. 
drop dead, fall down and die. I command every serpentine demon, every anaconda spirit, every python spirit, every boa constrictor, every scorpion, in the name of Jesus, every hyena, every lizard, every tiger, every leopard, every satanic beast, on an evil errand, centipede and millipede, in the name of owls and bats, in the name of Jesus, every roaches, every mice, every rat, demonic rat, demonic mice, demonic roaches, demonic bugs, in my house, that are likely to attack me, in the name of Jesus, die, every satanic ant, die by fire, die by thunder, 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 die, 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 in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, I overcome you, in the name of Jesus, I overcome you, by the blood of Jesus, I overcome you, in the name of Jesus, I overcome you, by the blood of Jesus, drop dead, drop dead, let that evil dog, Drop dead, let that evil dog drag, drop dead, let that evil cat drop dead, let that evil lizard drop dead, let that evil vulture drop dead, let that evil chameleon, whatever serpentine demon, any insect, any roach, any mice, let them drop dead, let them drop dead, every evil cat drop dead, 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 drop dead. In the name of Jesus, somebody, any satanic animal sent for your destruction is going to die. Recently, a great man of God shared his testimony. How her daughter was severely attacked and how to go through surgery. And her condition from her spinal cord was so much that the rate at which her spinal cord was messed up, it was going to affect her kidney her lungs, her heart, her kidney, her liver, her lungs, and her heart because of the way things were twisted and the, the, the severity of the sickness. So the child was going to lose these sensitive body organs. And he went into prayer and asked the Lord to show him mercy and deliver the daughter because the, 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 the surgery before they went for the surgery, they knew that the, the possibility of the girl surviving was very slim. And even if she survives, it was possible that she would be paralyzed forever or would not be able to live a healthy life anymore because of her situation. The situation. He went on a serious three days fast, rode on the floor, on rocks, praying for mercy and deliverance. And after that, he gathered faith and went to do the surgery. And the Lord showed her his, his daughter mercy. The daughter who was supposed to lose the heart, kidney, and liver because of the problem. Or go and not come back. The Lord performed a miracle. When she went, in the next few couple of days, she was able to wake up. And they thought that she would not be able to move some part of her body. Or she would be paralyzed or anything. She was walking and it was an amazement to the physician. I'm telling you, true story. True story. Just last week. True story. And she, she started walking. And to the, everybody was shocked. Everybody was surprised about how speedily she was able to recover from such intensive, dangerous, delicate surgery. So now, after seven days after the surgery... This man has a dog, has a dog in his house. The dog, after seven days, mysteriously died. When they called the vent to come and check on the dog because the dog was healthy, the, go the, the dog was okay. Why did this dog die sadly without any sickness or any sign? So before they buried the dog, the, the vet decided to check to see what was wrong. So they cut the dog and opened the dog up. When they went in, the kidney was gone, liver was gone, heart was gone. The vet said, I have never in my practice as a vet seen anything like this. How could the heart of a dog, like it's bent up, liver gone, kidney gone? And then the man of God remembered that this was exactly what was going to take her daughter out. And by fasting and prayer, 
the Lord delivered their daughter but back to sender. So the question is that who and what was that dog? The question is that what was that dog? How come that girl survived and the dog died and every organ they told the man of God that this is what is going to happen to your daughter is exactly what they found in the dog. In the dog. Heart is gone, liver is gone, kidney is gone. Those sensitive organs, everything, that's what they saw. Fill in the blanks. So when we talk about these kind of prayers, you don't have to play games. The devil entered into a snake and they were able to attack Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. The devil can use any animal to monitor you and to destroy you. And you may never even know that this is an animal, a pet the devil is using to attack me. I pray that any satanic, demonic bird satanic cat or dog satanic frog scorpion or serpent any satanic insect mice rats any satanic roaches or bugs any demonic animal planted strategically spiders in any part of your 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 ants satanic ants bed bugs planted in your home planted around you to spiritually suck your blood and kill you mysteriously May they die by fire. May they die by fire. May they die by fire. May they die by fire in the name of Jesus. This is not the first time I've heard this. One lady called me in New Jersey. Reverend K, come and anoint my house, my house after a conference in New, New York. After New York, he says, pass through my house in New Jersey. I went in, anointed a house for the last 10 years or so. She's never been able to practice as a nurse. Her license was being held up by some whatever uh, illegal issues she couldn't practice so i went in i prayed and anointed the house and i told her to anoint we anointed everything in the house including her dog immediately after the anointing service of everything in the house the dog mysteriously died without any health issues the next minute the dog died she got a breakthrough and started working we are not talking about pets being evil but when your life is constantly under demonic attacks you better make sure that not only you get your deliverance but make sure your pet is also getting deliverance because the enemy is able to enter if god if the devil is able to enter into even human beings to carry out his assignment against humanity how much more animals and remember witchcraft is all about animalistic characteristics witchcraft when we define witchcraft witchcraft is a spirit that takes the form of animal insensitive and just wanting to do vile and evil so it is human animalistic characteristics it's called it's all about witchcraft and that's why every witch will be having a certain form of animal they are manifesting through them so i pray for you that in the name of jesus any demonic satanic witchcraft orchestrated animal sent to come for your soul to drink your blood and to eat up your flesh let the animal die 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 whether insect bird vulture frog whatever it is let them drop dead Whoever has also turned themselves into an animal against you, whether dog, cat, whatever it is, let them die in the name of Jesus Christ. Our last prayer. Today we came in to deal with vomiting of our treasures, but God says deal with the soul. Deal with the soul issue. Because a lot of souls are under demand. That's why I told you about the concert which just took place in Texas somewhere, whereby eight people have been recorded dead, 300 people injured, and more uh, casualties are expected to be coming out. There's drinkers of blood and eaters of flesh. If you don't know how to pray, you'll, you'll be wasted just like that. Calamities, tragedies, perils will hit you and then they turn your life and your destiny upside down. In the name of Jesus, you're going to pray. Any altar in my family, any altar in my mother's house, any altar in my father's house that is demanding my soul, that has swallowed up my soul to sacrifice during this season, let that altar in my mother's house vomit me out by fire. Let that altar in my father's house vomit me out by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, any altar in my mother's house, any altar in my father's house that has captured my soul, wanting to sacrifice me, and wanting to destroy me before the end of this year in the name of jesus as i begin to arise in prayer let fire come out of my mouth and begin to 
consume every altar in my mother's house, any altar in my father's house. Let the familiar spread in my mother's house, the monetary spread in my mother's house, the ancestral spread in my mother's house, the household witches in my mother's house. Let them all receive fire. Let them all receive thunder. Let them all receive fire. Let them all receive thunder and let them vomit out my soul. Vomit out my life. Vomit out my soul. Vomit out my life. Begin to lift up your voice and pray against altars in your mother's house and altars in your father's house. Set the altar on fire and command them to release your soul. They release your son. Release your daughter. Release your husband. Release your family members from every distraction in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and let us pray. Altar in my mother's house. Altar in my father's house. Satanic altars. Demonic altars. Witchcraft altars in my mother's house. Household familiar spirit. Household monetary spirit. Ancestral spirit. Spiritual spirit in our foundation that are swallowed up our soul. Swallowed up our lives. Swallowed up our virtues in the name of Jesus. I command the altar in my mother's house. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire and be shattered into pieces. Catch fire and burn into ashes. Catch fire in my mother's house. Catch fire in my father's house. Catch fire in my mother's house. Catch fire in my father's house. Every monetary spirit, every altar spirit, every altar idol, I command you to catch fire. 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 I, to catch fire. I release the Holy Ghost fire. I release the Holy Ghost fire on the altar in my mother's house. I release the Holy Ghost fire in the altar in my father's house. Let them begin to spit me out. Let them begin to vomit me out. Rapas kata. Rekapara. Rapa kata. Rakatara, repapala, repapala, repapara, 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 repapaya, rapapa, holy ghost fire, 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 holy ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. Burn the altars in my mother's house into ashes. Burn the altars in my father's house into ashes. Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. Burn the altars in my mother's house into ashes. Burn the altars in my father's house into ashes. Release me by fire. Loose me by fire. Release me by fire. Loose me by fire. Satanic altars, demonic altars, witchcraft altars, break me loose. Loose me by fire. Loose me by thunder. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, let them vomit you out. In the name of Jesus, as we were praying yesterday, some of you were manifesting, some of you were coughing, some of you were snoring, some uh, sneezing, some of you were burping. I pray for you right now, any spirit that has swallowed you up, as you begin to breathe out, let that spirit vomit you out. Let that spirit vomit you out. Let that spirit vomit you out. Let that spirit spit you out. Spit you out. May you become fire. May you become a blazing fire. May you become a blazing fire. May you become unquenchable fire in the belly of any unclean spirit. They will have no option. You will be too hot for them to contain. You will be too too hot for them to contain that they must vomit you out. They must spit you out. They must vomit you out. Just as the Lord commanded the big fish and it vomited out Jonah. Let's as the Lord commanded, commanded the big fish and it vomited out Jonah onto the dry land. God is going to cause these demonic entities, witchcraft entities, familiar altars, altars in your mother's house, altars in your father's house, marine demons, marine spirit, spirit husband and spirit wife, incubu sakabu spirit, any spirit in your mother's house that has married you, any spirit in your father's house that has married you, any witch that has married you, any unclean spirit that has married you, any altar that has married you, any altar that has swallowed you up, any agent of darkness, any occultist that has swallowed you up, they are going to vomit you out because you are going to be too, fi too fiery, too fiery, too fiery to contain in the name of Jesus. All you are going to do is just breathe out, just breathe out, just breathe out, just breathe out, and as you are breathing out, you... If you feel like coughing, cough it out. And as you begin to graduate from coughing to vomiting, whatever has swallowed you must vomit you out. Say in the name of, say this with me. Say in the mighty name of Jesus, as I begin to breathe out, 
as I begin to cough out in the mighty name of Jesus, any unclean spirit, any demonic spirit, any python, any Leviathan spirit, every anaconda spirit, any witchcraft spirit, any all evil altar, any satanic spirit that has swallowed me up in the name of Jesus, I turn into Holy Ghost fire. I turn into Holy Ghost fire. I turn into Holy Ghost fire. Let the fire of God in me, let the fire of God around me begin to consume your stomach, begin to consume your belly until you have no choice to vomit me out, vomit me out, vomit me out, vomit me out, vomit me out. Vomit me out. Put your right hand on your stomach, your belly button, your belly button, and begin to say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every evil spirit that has swallowed me up, vomit me by fire, vomit me out 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 by fire, any unclean spirit, any demonic spirit, any witchcraft spirit, any marine spirit, any evil altar, in my mother's house, in my father's house, any witchcraft spirit, every marine power that has swallowed my soul, that has swallowed my body, that has swallowed my spirit, that has swallowed my life in the name of jesus i command you vomit me out 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 spit me out vomit me out cough me out in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus yes 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 now i'm going to pray and as i pray for you all you are doing is just breathe out just breathe out and some of you will begin to come under the power of God and there will be manifestation of coughing, sneezing. If you have to vomit, vomit. If you have to use the restroom, use it. But God is bringing deliverance and evil spirit is going to vomit you out. It's going to release you. It's going to release your soul. It's going to release your mind. It's going to release your joy. It's going to release your peace. It's going to release your health. It's going to leave your, release your... Somebody yesterday was saying, as they were interceding for their son, they were the ones manifesting. The Lord was making you get deliverance for your son yes it can happen you can stand in the gap for somebody and the person as you are going through the deliverance the person is receiving their deliverance may the lord through you bring deliverance to your husband through you deliverance for your son in the name of jesus begin to just breathe out you breathe in and you breathe out you breathe in and you breathe out as you breathe in you are taking in the fire of god and as you are breathing out may any unclean spirit that has swallowed you up begin to vomit you out in the name of jesus in the name of jesus just begin to breathe in and breathe out if you feel like coughing let begin to cough if you begin to vomit vomit it out if you begin to uh, yawn yawn sneeze whatever it is the spirit of the enemy is bringing something something out of you is coming out you are coming out you are coming out your soul is coming out your soul is coming out from that demonic prison from that witchcraft prison in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus as you breathe out as you cough out as you vomit in the name of jesus let every power that has swallowed you up vomit by fire vomit by fire vomit by fire just begin to cough it out begin to breathe out begin to cough it out begin to cough out begin to cough out begin to cough out <coughs> begin to cough it out in the name of jesus in the name of jesus don't pray don't pray just breathe out cough out or vomit in the name of jesus holy ghost fire Holy Ghost fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. I set the belly of that evil spirit. I set the belly of that strong man. I set the belly of that marine spirit. I set that belly on that spirit husband, of that spirit wife. I set their belly. I set their stomach on fire. Let them vomit you out. Let them vomit you out. That witch cast spirit, vomit you out. That satanic animal, vomit her out. Vomit him out. Vomit her out. Vomit him out. Yes, cough it 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 out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Yes. Break and come out. You are coming 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 out. Out of the belly. Out of the belly of the big fish. Out of the belly of the python. Out of the belly of the anaconda spirit. Out of the belly of that evil altar. Out of the belly of that witchcraft spirit. Break and come out. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. I command your soul out. 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 Out of prison. Out of cage. Out of the stomach of every demonic entity. Out of every altar. In the name of Jesus. You shall not die. 
You shall not be wasted. You will not be sacrificed. You will not die. Your son will not die. Your daughter will not die. Your husband will not die. In the name of Jesus. 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 Break and come out. Somebody, you are coughing blood. You are coughing blood. It is a sign of the spirit of death and destruction. Break and come out. Break and come out. Break and come out. Yes, cough it out. Cough it out. Cough it out. Cough it out. Vomit it out. In the name of Jesus. Come out by liquid. Come out by air. Come out by liquid. Come out by air. Come out by liquid. Break and go. Break and loose. Break and go. Break and loose. In the name of Jesus. 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 I command every satanic beast, satanic animal, satanic snake, satanic leviathan, demonic spirit, marine spirit, ancestral powers, demonic entities, loose head. Loose him, loose head, loose him. Fire, 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 fire. Break and go. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord, that your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. According to Psalms 124, verse 7, our soul has escaped. As a bed, your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. Your soul has escaped. You cannot pray. You cannot read your word. You cannot meditate on the word of God. You cannot walk in your liberty, your, in, your, in your freedom, in your emancipation. You cannot serve the Lord. You cannot break loose from that addiction. You cannot break free from that stronghold. In the name of Jesus, your soul has been freed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Today, Yesterday and today, the Lord has been merciful and has brought deliverance to many. May your deliverance that you have received today become permanent. I seal your deliverance with the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus will say, go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. The Bible says that when an unclean spirit leaves a man, he goes wandering around. If he doesn't find any place, he will return back to his former dwelling and see whether it is well finished without being occupied. So if you don't make sure that for you to maintain your deliverance, make sure you are born again. Make sure that you have received Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and personal Savior. Make sure that you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Make sure that from now you start reading the Bible. Make sure that you start giving yourself to the service of God. Make sure that you don't return back to your vomit, your sins. Keep away from sin. Start reading the Bible. If you are, find a, a, a Bible-based church and get yourself connected. To the ministry and it shall be well with you in the name of jesus christ and begin to read your scriptures and you will make sure that these unclean spirits don't come back to come for your soul in jesus name we thank god that today your soul has been liberated has been delivered from the powers of darkness we thank you lord jesus we give you all the praise we give you all the honor amen and amen and amen we give him all the praise thank you somebody the lord touched you even in the process of you were vomiting blood whenever you are vomiting blood it's a sign of death and destruction others were vomiting others were burping coughing it's all signs of deliverance the lord has delivered you receive it and maintain it in jesus name our scripture reading for tomorrow is um, judges chapter 21 judges chapter uh tomorrow is judges chapter 20 and monday is judges 21 Tomorrow is Judges chapter 20. Make sure you, you keep up with the Bible studies. That's how we maintain our deliverance. Some of you, pray for me, pray for me. It's not going to happen. Go back and listen to yesterday's broadcast. Listen to this, today's broadcast and play it again and play again and again. And keep on allowing the power of God to cleanse you from all impurities or any demonic strongholds as you pray along. Believe and you'll be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ thank you Lord so tomorrow is Sunday we are not meeting our next meeting is on Monday God willing Monday and Monday is Judges chapter 21 the fasting continues we'll be ending the fasting the fasting on the 23rd of this month 23rd of this month our fasting ends on 23rd of this month of November so we still have some days ahead of us you can always join the fasting and join and, and, and fast with us from 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. And we meet every day at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., 3 a.m. for those of you in London, 
5 a.m for those of you in europe and um, australia is 1 p.m and india is 8 a.m so just join us from monday to saturday daily for prayers and join the fast from 6 a.m to 6 p.m and your life will never be the same in jesus name may the lord deliver our soul from distraction in jesus mighty name may the lord preserve you and preserve your loved ones amen the book we are using for this season is touch not my anointed you have to be too hot too hot that no devil no demon no witch is able to touch you to devour you to destroy you to steal from you or to or molest you this book will teach you how to walk in the power of god the anointing of god to make you untouchable unstoppable unbreakable unconquerable indestructible invincible in the hands of your enemies walking in the power and the anointing of the holy ghost get your copy today or get it for somebody to be a great blessing to them go to our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com get your copy we sell it on ebook and kindle only when you when you, you buy it it will be sent to your email start reading it during this fasting and the lord is going to use it to bless you there are a lot of prophetic uh, and dangerous fiery prayers in it to help you through the fasting and come out victoriously in jesus name you can get it on our website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com for any test uh, for any donation any sacrifices to raise at the altar you can do so through the website www.freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com for any donation any sacrifice at the altar you can do so through the website www.freshfireprayer.com www. if it's cash up it's fresh fire prayer fresh fire prayer amen and amen whoever is calling please stop calling we are praying we are praying time for prayers is not time for talking i'm very straight with this because i want people to learn how to pray to defend themselves we are in a very dangerous season that if you don't learn it now a time is coming you'll be waiting for people to do and they will not be there i don't know how long the antichrist system is going to allow the social media platform for the gospel to be preached i don't know when but very soon there it, it, it is coming a time whereby they will stop these things from going on and make sure by that time you have learned enough to stand on your feet alone to stand don't you see what's going on in our world you can't do this you can't do this unless you have this <laughs> You can't go here. You can't do this. You can't have this unless you have this. The same way they are telling you to have this before you can do this. There's coming a time whereby also they will tell you if you don't have the success mark, the antichrist mark, you can't buy, you can't sell, you can't keep your job, you can't keep your apartment, you can't hold your, your position, you can't go to the hospital without the 66 mark. So whatever we are seeing now is all a prelude, a preparation. A preparation to tell you that we are almost there you see how this vaccine and mass and everything has affected every area of our lives it has affected every area everybody's directly or indirectly impacted by what's going on globally globally so isn't it waking you up to know that we are close to the book of revelation about what jesus said that there's going to be the the antichrist this should wake you and i up to start knowing jesus know jesus no god for yourself we don't stop talking about hard copies there's no more hard copies just uh make use of the um ebook that's all we have and start enjoying it rather than um looking forward for the hard copy it's not happening right now if you have any testimony if you have any testimony